pain forged our purpose. Alright, so how's everybody doing? Hopefully better. Um Welcome back. In this video, I'm breaking down how I built a reactive jammer using the Hack RF. This device scans the frequency range in our 2.4 to 2.48 gigahertz, which includes Bluetooth and Wi-Fi bands, and then automatically transmits a jamming signal when suspicious activity is detected. We use the console we use a custom script to sweep the band, identify active frequencies, and deploy either white noise or a custom payload to disrupt communications. The system reacts in real time and can be configured to deliver specific effects depending on what it detects. I'll show you the full setup including the .bat automation, the Python controls, script, and how we injected the funny or disruptive signal payload, whether you're experimenting with SDR, testing security tools, or learning how hat. Oh, <laughs> okay, so if you look at the, this is our jammer log. So pretty much it goes down the list, picks up all the frequencies that it detected, right? It logs them. That allows the program to basically pick up this data, go into it, and start unpairing as it goes down the list. Um, uh, every time they try to pair, every time they try to pair, it's in the audio packet. Hi, you evil villain. <laughs> but you could kind of modify it. <laughs> as we're going down, we have a few files. Uh, each one does something else. Um, this one makes the white noise. So the first one. So this is the auto jammer file, right? So pretty much this is the initial code. Title full spectrum reactive jammer plus B L E, which is Bluetooth Wi-Fi unpair. Um pretty much it scans the Wi-Fi ranges and um pretty much the ranges of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are 24, uh, 2400 to 24, 2480 megahertz, right? That's a Wi-Fi Bluetooth frequency range. So we sweep through that range and pretty much we pick up the frequencies, the frequencies that are within those ranges. Um, once all the frequencies are detected, then we run the sort of like the reactive jammer. Um, and pretty much what it does is it goes down the list and unpairs everything from it. Um, here we go. Um, the next file. This is sort of the Python. So if you don't have Python installed, make sure you get that installed. Uh, pretty much this is the code. Um, you can sort of go down it. Um, so basically, after the frequency is detected, you can basically go to here, it'll tune in to that specific frequency, deliver the payload, which is a bunch of white noise, and it'll basically interrupt it long enough uh, for it to be unpaired, right? Um... Some of these devices take a while to pair. Um, so pretty much, we go down the frequencies and deliver the payload and pretty much continue going down once everything, uh, once everything is pretty much jammed, our system goes in and re-jams, uh, well, detect, and then re-jams everything again. Um, most of these files will be in Discord, so you just have to pretty much run it. Um, you might have to install a few things, like uh, Zedig, Python, so it kind of knows what to do. And most of it is pretty much ran in the command script. Um, Alright? So right now, still working on the anime um yeah have 
it's the actual anime and my team's limited it's i've been kind of working back and forth trying to uh balance life lead developer in the anime um anyhow we have auto jammer that this is kind of our executed program once you start the it this you go down the list and then it starts kind of uh running down the script right so first let me show you how to jammer all right so if you can see here this is the hack rf and before you connect it to the computer you have to uh pretty much pair it um basically uh connect it via usb and you should get something like this where it shows the frequency that it's currently emitting and what it's doing right you get the script in the computer the computer tells the heart the hack rf and it'll look pretty much like this once uh everything's up and running all right so as you see in this picture uh you got the hack rf in the middle right um so it's pretty much leads onto the amplifier. The amplifier is a green part. And then it leads towards the antenna. Make sure that you try to grab this antenna. It usually comes with a kit. Um, this is how it can uh, detect uh, various frequencies. Um, and it, it did take me a... Uh, quite a few hours I think it was like eight hours to uh, develop this so most of the development should be done um, the files will be in discord and uh, if you run into any issues we have a pretty active community in discord I'll link the discord except the thing kind of resets every seven days so I have to like reset it um, anyhow uh if you run into any issues let me know and we'll try to get yours up and running oh things that you will need is zadig in order for the, for you to be able to run the script while the hack rf is connected to the to pretty much your computer you're gonna need the hack rf development tools and you're gonna need Python, you're also going to need, um, actually that should be it. With those things, you can pretty much uh, develop it, fill in the gaps. Uh, each computer is slightly different, so it, it might have to be remodified depending on your computer. Okay, um, so before powering on the Hack RF, this is very important make sure everything is connected um because if you start powering it up without the antenna it might try to emit too much power and it could fry your hack rf so very very important connected um so yeah if you have any questions or uh in comments make sure you just kind of uh, leave them below or join discord and i can pretty much answer most questions elego wave 3 seems to be able to pick up the voices you may have heard on the background in this video actually uh also um uh, well, i'll put the link in the dropbox here in the video section and you can just uh, pick up the file and uh, yeah, like and subscribe. All right, thanks everybody. They tried to crush what we became, but the darkness is our state.